Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So the idea of travelling into space might seem really cool, but it's not as straightforward as most like to think. The fact of the matter is, getting into space isn't the only hard part. There are a number of obstacles we have to overcome, and some of them are pretty sickening. So in this list, I'll be showing you 5 sickening secrets of space travel. Number 5. Bodies in Space If an astronaut dies in space, what exactly happens to their body? That's a question not even NASA can answer, and they haven't really given it much thought. However, since NASA have plans to send humans to Mars, the likelihood of humans dying in space will only increase. There will come a point where people start dying in space, it's just at the moment not many people are actively in space. One idea is just to simply release the body into space, however the problem here is that the United Nations prohibit dumping litter in space. That does include human bodies. They could store the dead body in the spacecraft and simply bury it when they return to Earth. However, storing a body in a spaceship is not exactly a good idea, especially when other people are on board. How about they use the body as fertilizer when they land on Mars? Again, that could work, but it might not, and it's not exactly ideal. NASA have been working with a company called Promessa that are a burial company. They are developing what is called a body bag. This is basically a sealed airtight sleeping bag that can store a corpse outside the spacecraft. The freezing cold temperatures of space will freeze the body and the vibrations will shatter the body into fine small particles. When the spacecraft returns to Earth, all that will be left is a fine dust. Number 4. Astronauts recycle their urine As you can imagine, access to fresh water on board the ISS isn't great. Bringing up supplies like water is expensive, so any way they can recycle liquids is welcomed. One way NASA have done this is by creating the Water Recovery System in 2009. Essentially, this system recovers and recycles urine, sweat and more into drinkable water. The water of course is completely safe to drink, but it's still a little bit disgusting when you think about it. Number 3. All astronauts wear diapers when NASA designed the first spacesuit, they completely forgot about what would happen if an astronaut needed to go to the toilet. This led astronaut Alan Shepard no other means but to pee inside a spacesuit. As time went on, NASA tackled this problem by inventing the first ever space nappy. Essentially, it was a condom-like device that astronauts wore in their spacesuit. However, as females joined the space party, their condom-like device had to be modified. This time they came up with a disposable absorption containment trunk. It could be used by both men and women and could handle both pee and poo. In 1988, they updated the design and called it the Maximum Absorbency Garment, which in essence is a high-tech adult diaper. Each astronaut is given three of these diapers for every mission. One to wear when going into space, one for when returning to Earth, and a backup one should they need an extra. Number 2. Astronauts masturbate in space Yes, it's true, but it's not just for self-pleasure. You see, astronauts are always at risk of getting urinary tract infections. Symptoms are quite severe, such as fever, nausea, pain when urinating, and more. This can even lead to space missions being terminated, so NASA want to make sure their astronauts remain healthy. From 1981 to 1998, 23 of the 508 astronauts sent into space suffered from urinary tract infections. In men, they believed this could be caused by reduced ejaculation. If a man doesn't ejaculate, bacteria can build up and cause an infection. So while NASA hasn't officially said they advise astronauts to masturbate in space, it has been hinted that they do. A Russian cosmonaut, however, admitted he made sex with hand whilst in space. Number 1. Carbon dioxide poisoning is a problem Carbon dioxide can be a very dangerous gas. It's odorless and can even kill you if you breathe too much of it. On board the International Space Station, there is a higher than normal concentration of carbon dioxide. Here on Earth, the concentration of CO2 is about 0.3 mm of mercury, whilst on the ISS, it can reach up to 6 mm of mercury. The side effects of this high concentration of CO2 are things such as headaches, irritation, difficulty sleeping, and more. In fact, most astronauts complain of these side effects early into their missions. 
The ISS does have fans that blow the CO2 around to disperse it, but this isn't enough. Realistically, they need to come up with a better method, otherwise it will only get worse. Thank you for watching, to subscribe click over here to watch another awesome video and click down here. Do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.